was it? Okay. So I wasn't like deja vu. I was like out of my element. That's what I thought. I said, me? Okay. Got through it. Got through it pretty good. Good. Yes, sir. How do you like what you saw? Well, I, I think that we have a, a unit of players that have some unique talents. He was one. Um, I said uh, when we decided to offer him a scholarship, um, he was a little bit of an exception to the rule as far as his DNA at the position to play because there's a certain height, and weight, speed, FBI, intelligence, and all those things that go into the way how we recruit now. And if you look at his body type, it, it, it wouldn't fit the DNA. But there's always an exception to the rule. We said that when we, we decided to offer him a scholarship, and I'm so glad he took it, um, that um, he was going to be different. And I think you guys watched him. But when I watched him in JC, I went, okay. I said, coach, let's do a little dip. I said, I don't worry about DNA. I'm this one. So he's a football player. He helped us. So, yeah, I mean, you know, he's, he's got some talent. And um, I'm not surprised if you're asking that. Guy that was training in the offseason, I went to school with the calf. So he was keeping me abreast every week on how he was training and where he was at. So when he got in, I love him. I think he surprised a lot of our guys, you know, because a lot of guys thought he was a freshman. You know, like when he came in in the offseason and he was running with the guys, and about the second day they figured out, like, this guy here, man, he looked that different. And so, He's, he's earned his. He's earned his. He's earned his way and through hard work. He's a hardworking guy. He really is. And, and he likes playing football. And I like guys that like playing football. He likes practicing football. It's, he like to watch guys. Like that. You know. And, and there's always this thing in life. You know, when you're not the biggest guy, you always feel like you got to prove yourself. So he's always trying to prove himself. And I told him, man, you don't have to prove yourself to me. So that that needs to stop. So you're one of our guys. You're here for a reason, and you're a good football player. So I'm glad he's aboard. Just, yes, just how special and unique is this running back core uh, you spoke? Well, uh, Eno is, is, is quite the player, as you guys witnessed. Uh, he's tough. He can run inside, outside. He's good after contact. He has great balance. Uh, he understands blocking schemes. I mean, he, he sits in the classroom with those offensive linemen when the run game is being put in. He's, he's sitting in the front row. And he, he, you know, he's, he really, it helps when you have a running back that knows how to press the hole because that helps the offensive line get to the second level because it brings the linebacker in the trash. You know, when you get the linebackers caught in the trash, then all of a sudden he can break away from that. Some running backs don't press, press the heel of the, of the offensive line when you're, when you're entering at the enter point, and, and that gives the linebacker the ability to scrape and go make plays. But he presses the hole, and he has a good enough vision and ability to escape it where he can hit a little crease and make a play. So. And he catches the ball well. He's, he's good in protection. And, you know, the complete running backs have to protect the quarterback as well. It's not just running and catching the ball. When they bring pressure, Michigan State will bring pressure. You got to pick up a linebacker. You know, and these these linebackers here are big and physical guys. Like the kid for UTSA was a big, good linebacker, 55. He's a good player. And sometimes you got to block those guys. So he does it all. He's a complete running back. All right. Good. Thank you. Thanks.